Okay, let's start. Just a reminder, this is the uh, retouching and Dutch and Born technique that I use. And as well, there is a lot of techniques, different techniques, but this is the one that I like the most. I think it's the easiest one and as well as the most effective. And I really like how it's the, the finish and I think it looks really natural and at the same time, it looks really pretty. So the first thing that I do is uh, duplicate the layer. So I have my photo and then I have a duplicate layer. And I would use the patch tool and as well, you can use maybe the healing brush that it's quite like the similar than patch tool, but for me, patch tool, it's more effective. So what I'm going to do is just to remove the things that I don't want in my image that are specifically uh, specific spots in the image that I want to remove. So with healing brush, you just need to select the part, like in this part, I don't want it. And then you move it to a zone that is clean and basically it copy the zone that is clean. With Healing Brush, it's uh, it's really similar. It's like um, a brush. And what you are going to do is press Alt and then select the, 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 the place that is clean and then just click to the place that you want to remove. But I don't like that much Healing Brush because sometimes you can see the spots. So that's why I use Patch Tool. So what I do is just select all the spots that I don't want in the picture and just be really careful to review the skin. The skin needs to be like even, it needs to look natural and I just want to remove that. One of the things that I remove as well is sometimes with the hair. I really like this part where the, the hair is in the face but this hair I don't like it so what I do is remove it as well with patch tool. Don't try to remove big uh, big stuff because you can tell that you remove that and then the skinny will be like really, really weird. So you need to have like um, tiny spots and then remove it. And as well, you need to, to know like for, for example, in here, the skin is a little bit darker. So you need to move it to a darkened zone to match it, uh, not to the really light zone because it's not going to work like that. So colors are important for the skin and basically I do this for all the skin Okay, that's it. So the first thing is to remove all the spots, specific spots. And as well, you can remove like um, scarves and wrinkles and any other spot that you don't want it in the face. In this case now, I just have like the freckles. She has like really beautiful freckles. And now I clean the face. So this is the, maybe the slowest part that you need to do. Like you need to spend a lot of time because you need to remove just the specific spot and you cannot remove like a really big sound because then the image is not going to be good. So maybe you say like, well, maybe it looks the same, but that's why you have a different layer. So you put the layer that you have and as you see, I just remove specific spots and then the hair in here and a little bit the wrinkles and that's it. But I do it like spot by a spot that's why it looks uh, really natural. So the next step, I'm going to merge these two layers and just make it one because I have an action already that is uh, retouching Dutch and Born uh, by Kim Garza. And I'm going to put this in the description because it saves a lot of time. I just do it once a long time ago and I just uh, put the action already. So I just play it and I have a, I need to name it. So I'm just going to name it. This is soft to put the soft skin. And this is a texture. This is for the shadow. Shadows and highlights. 
So what you have here that is the retouching, that it's a soft and texture, that it's a frequency separation, and as well you have shadows and highlights for the Dodge and Borrow. So the first thing that I do is the soft part that I just use this in specific zones. I always use a uh, kind of between 30 to 50% opacity for these two, for so, uh, soft and texture. In this case, let's do 30% and let's make a pencil not, yeah. So one of the things that is important to do this and, and to make it natural is like you are kind of making makeup <laughs> you know like you are putting makeup so in the makeup you don't put the brush like really strong to your face you need to put it like really soft so that's what we are going to do we need you need to put black here because your mask is white so you need to have the opposite just have like little ones i'm just going to put the forehead a little bit the nose in here just in here a little bit in here like just a tiny bit you can see that it's like really really soft and in here in here never 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 do the nose like in this part like do this no 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 because look you are going to disappear the details of the noise of the nose so don't do it don't do it in the lips and don't do it in the eyes like never never please don't do it it, it doesn't look like nice and a little bit in here and that's it the texture I use it a little bit more so the texture I use it in the eyes and the eyebrows I use it in the lips sometimes in the freckles so I can see a little bit more the details of the freckles and sometimes I use it as well in the hair in this case I'm going to put a little bit in the hair So now this is already the retouching and then let's move to the Dutch chamber. So for the shadows is like a contouring from the makeup. So the opacity that I use in here is between 5 to 10%. Let's use 5 in this case and just remember to have white in here because your mask now is um, your mask now is black. So I do basically the contouring that is in the this part and then in the nose like on the sides on the nose not in here like on the side and then I always put a little bit like outside the the eyes to uh, make it a little bit more darker the the makeup in this case maybe it's not always the case depends on the photography but in this case I wanted to put here more color and as well in the forehead but just like in these two zones here here a little bit in here that's it and then the highlights i use it in the top of this on the nose now it is in here it's in the middle of the nose a bit of the forehead, a bit of here and I use it as well to remove the dark zones of the eyes A little bit for the inside of the eyes just don't do it too much that it looks fake just do it to have a little bit light in the eyes so that's it that's the 
retouching that I do. This is the one that I have retouching plus uh, touch and one. So this is the before and after the retouching. And as well, just remember that we have uh, the other edition with the patch tool and this is the final edition. Well, well, I almost forgot, I almost forgot that as well. I put a little bit of highlights in the lips. So I just put a little bit of highlights in the lips and more in the middle of the lips, just to have it kind of like an uneven color and it's it looks really nice and we finished this is the before and after as you see the only addition that I did uh, for the before and after it was the retouching and Dutch and Born and as you saw it's not that complicated the only thing um, maybe you thought that doing the retouching and Dutch and Born in Photoshop is complicated it is not the only thing that you need to have is patience and time because of course you need to invest time to have different souls but of course it's worth it. As you can see, the results are really beautiful to do this uh, technique of retouching and touch and burn. So that's it. I hope you like it. This is my technique of retouching and touch and burn that I do for my beauty photos. If you have any questions about this technique that I use, just comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. And as well, I hope you like the video and enjoy editing this photo with me. So just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just do it now because I'm going to upload much more videos about uh, Photoshop, Lightroom, behind the scenes, analog photography and much more about photography and a bit of art. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Ciao.